Hello friends and neighbors. <laughs> My name is Jenny Kepler and I'm an historian here on the hilltop and today I would like to talk to you about what the Greater Hilltop Area Commission is. Um, I am currently running for uh, the Greater Hilltop Area Commission but in talking to people and in reading comments on Facebook it sounds like a lot of folks don't even know what the commission is or why they should care and well, friend, you need to care. <laughs> Just about anything that is going to come and affect our neighborhood, any decision that the city makes, um, is going to come through the commission first. So let's dig into it. Um, Columbus City Code uh, provides for the ability of different neighborhoods around Columbus to create these area commissions. They are sanctioned by the mayor. Uh, once these folks are elected, they will actually be appointed by the mayor to sit on the commission. They will receive a letter from him and everything. Um, many issues come through the neighborhood area commissions first for advice on how to proceed before the city actually approves them. So zoning, our zoning committee is actually one of the most important pieces of it. Um, any, any major building project, any demolitions, any, um, any change to a structure, that's going to have to come before the Greater Hilltop Area Commission first for zoning approval. Um, this is not to say that the, the Hilltop Area Commission is the final word on on things but their word is generally taken as as pretty solid um so that's one of the most important facets but there are other committees too um there's health health services and hu or human services and education there is community relations there's parks and recreation um, business and economic development um, there's the Ad Hoc Liquor Committee, which every year reviews different uh, liquor serving establishments or liquor sales establishments um, that may need to have their liquor license reviewed uh, for possible removal. The commission um, was established, the, the, the original work on establishing the commission, I should say, started in 1979, but it didn't become an official sanctioned uh, organized group until 1981. They had their very first elections uh, that October. They had nine open seats with 21 candidates, which I, for some reason I just can't get over. <laughs> Usually now it's like you're begging people to run um, because it's a lot of work. If you're doing it right as a commissioner, you're doing a lot of work because there are many facets and many things to be done. Um, <laughs> so what should you be looking for in a commissioner? Um, and, and what should you expect from your current commissioners? Commissioners live here in the, in the neighborhood, um, in the hilltop, or they operate a business or nonprofit here. Um, we do have a, a one or two that don't live in the neighbor in the hilltop, so to speak, but they're they practically live here because they're they're serving the hilltop in other ways. Um, the the commission is a bipartisan group. I think this part is incredibly important because I see a lot of discussions online, and they talk about the different parties and who makes up uh, city council or makes up. Um, you know, the commission or, or various entities, it is a bipartisan group. I, I almost say apolitical in that um, individual, individual politics at the state and national level is kind of irrelevant. And I'll, I'll even double up on that by saying um, there are a lot of us who belong to one party, but because of the antics of um, whatever mayor or city council is in, in office at that time, even if they're from our own party, if they do things that don't benefit the hilltop, we don't vote for them. So, um, 
I think honestly, a lot of our personal politics are kind of irrelevant. Um, so there's that. <laughs> it is it is bipartisan, uh, also because um, it is really important to see people as your neighbors first and foremost, and especially right now. We're in a, a very divisive time, as is evidenced by anything you see once you step outside your door. But when it comes to the commission, when it comes to um, representing the hilltop, we try to be as united as possible. So it's a, it's a constant thing. You've got to constantly keep yourself in check. Um, and remember that the people that you're representing may not look like you, may not vote like you normally, may not you know, whatever, their whole life might look totally different from yours. But the one thing you do have in common is that you're both hilltoppers. You're going to have to share the community space with them. So that's important. And that's, um, it's important to understand that going into, into anything with the commission, including the elections. Um, the other part of this is that the commission the commission was specifically put in place to help advocate for us at city hall to help advocate um for us at even at the state level one of one of the earliest things that came before the commission um, after it was founded the state of ohio wanted to put a corrections reception center in Rhodes park you know Rhodes park right it's at the base of the hill there off of broad street um, with all the softball and baseball diamonds. Yeah, that almost became home to a prison. But thanks to the, the lobbying work of the Greater Hilltop Area Commission, um, also thanks to the town of Orient for being willing to accept that, that facility, we do not have a prison at the base of the hill. Um, we didn't have a voice uh, that that lobbied on our behalf. We also really didn't have any sort of um, mechanism to kind of round up the troops when we did need people to speak up. And prior to the the creation of the commission, um, there were there were kind of seedy businesses popping up in spots that before had been home to reputable businesses, um, reputable companies, um, you know, our local businesses and uh, services that, that we liked in the Hilltop. When we make decisions about what projects are okay or what uh, permits should be reviewed for, for improvement, um, it's important to look into how these things are going to affect us and affect our neighborhoods. Are they going to, going to attract more crime? Are the landlords and the, the property owners committed to keeping it, keeping the ground standards uh, up, maintaining their building? Um, so that this is an important group to pay attention to. If you have not ever attended a Greater Hilltop Area Commission meeting and ps you will hear the the greater hilltop area commission referred to in other ways too i catch myself saying ghac um my least favorite name for it that is frequently used by mem members is g hack uh i personally think that sounds like something a cat coughed up but that's cool um <laughs> but if you're interested in attending a meeting they're super easy to attend now because they're online. So if you go to the Greater Hilltop Area Commission Facebook page and like the page, you will get notices of upcoming events and you can mark yourself as going or interested to be reminded of them. Uh, that includes the monthly full commission meeting. That means that's also the committee meetings. And all of them have um, fascinating things that come across on a regular basis and that all affect us, that, that all could possibly improve or bring down, further bring down our community. 
So it is imperative that you start watching the, the meetings and joining us. You can comment uh, on the live feeds when, when they first air. You can comment um, on the Facebook page and ask the commissioners questions in real time. There's also the Greater Hilltop Area Commission Facebook, or excuse me, website. <laughs> the website address is thegahac.org. That's T H E G H A C dot org. And they have lots of information on there for you about the present membership, about um, agendas that have already gone through, meeting minutes that have already happened. Um, there's information about the elections, which are coming up next month. And also, lastly, the newer thing um, to look for is the Greater Hilltop Area Commission has a YouTube page. So you can share videos outside of Facebook and on other social media or even in emails or texts, which is kind of convenient and cool. So I hope that I covered what I should have covered. <laughs> uh, it's hard doing this stuff on the fly. Anywho, hopefully I shall see your name listed in the live feeds watching the meetings soon. And I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.